After more than 20 years in the planning, the tunnel drives on the Central Subway in San Francisco is wrapping up in less than 10 months. The first of two Robins EPBMs broke through to finish its 1.6 mile drive, with the second TBM set to break through within days. The Barnard and Pregilio S.A. Healy joint venture brought the contract in with no adjustments to the schedule or budget. I know it sounds like a bit of a fairy tale, a mega project coming in at, at, at on time and on budget, but at least this piece, which is a fairly large piece of the program, will be completed on time and within budget. The TBM started their drive from the launch box near Highway 80. Traveling north under 4th Street, they navigated a tight S-curve under Market Street and the Bart and Muni Metro Tunnels to continue north under Stockton Avenue and ended their drive with a final curve to the retrieval shaft on Columbus Avenue. Ground settlement along the entire alignment was well within the trigger level of three quarters of an inch and there were few interventions. We've only had to change our cutters once, so which is pretty amazing. Uh, I believe it was around the 6,000 foot mark. We changed out, I think, about half the cutters at that time. Um, changed out the scrapers, but overall the cutters and the cutter has been performed really well. Continuous conveyors by Robbins removed the mark, which was trucked to a permanent disposal site south of the city. The first TBM launched in July 2013 with the second underway four months later. Both machines safely navigated under the Bart and Muni Metro tunnels just 14 feet above. Everyone was monitoring the instrumentation. We had guys up on top uh, manning the compensation grout tubes. If there were any settlements, we would have taken care of it then. But uh, all our instrumentation showed little or no movement to the Bart structure and the surrounding buildings. The 20-foot diameter machines are designed for a maximum operational pressure of 4 bar but excavation was mostly in the 1.5 to 2.5 bar range with ground conditions as anticipated. So we did an exhaustive uh, geotechnical analysis of the alignment and we're very fortunate that what we've encountered is almost verbatim what we anticipated and that's, I think that's the biggest reason why the program is coming, you know, the, at least the tunneling portion of it is is getting done on time. With tunnel construction wrapping up, focus on the $1.6 billion project turns to construction of the stations, a sequentially excavated station at Chinatown and two cut and cover stations, one at Union Square and Market Street and Yerba Buena and Moscone Convention Center, plus a surface station at 4th and Brannan and a short section of surface track work. Tudor Perini holds the $852 million contract for this work. Uh, largest contract ever awarded in the city of San Francisco to Tudor Perini. They're uh, fully, fully mobilized and under construction. They're currently putting, putting in the support of excavation, um, and that, that work's moving on quite nicely. At this point in construction, the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency is well pleased with the progress. It certainly can be done well. It can be done you know, without blowing the, the budget and without uh, impacting the residents in their everyday lives. So I think this is a great example of, of how to build a project in an urban environment. In San Francisco, Paula Wallace reporting for Tunnel Talk.